Hey you too, this is Jaden Storm Coach and Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be my Q my second QA. Um, thank you to all of those of you who left questions. I think we have like 14 or 15 questions, so that's really awesome. I'm going to continue to do these. So again, the way this works is on this video, you leave um, questions for the next one. So And remember, it's anything you want to ask. You can ask anything about Vanguard. You can ask anything about games, music, movies, comic book characters. I do not care. Whatever kind of question you want to ask me, I will answer it. So thank you very much to all of you who asked a question, which you will be given a shout out. And um, so let's get right into these questions, but right after I get a drink. <clears throat> okay, first question comes from Dan0940. Do you think Dragonic Blade Master will get a cross ride and will be the next Dote and be like Tier Godly? Um, I like Dragonic Blade Master a lot, but I like Dragonic Overlord the X better. Um, I hope. Um, I can only assume, because of all the Stride Fodder cards that go with Blade Master, Susanoo, Chrono Jet, all these cards that that let you search out a specific Grade Three with that name in it, I have a feeling all of those cards like Blade Master, Susanoo, Chrono Jet, Asha for Neo Nectar, and you know, I have a feeling all of them are going to get some kind of new support. Maybe it's a cross ride. Um, so maybe so. I hope so. I really like Dragonic Blade Master. I just, I just haven't found the right version that you know I think could be considered tier status. Um, I think it's because he gets overshadowed by the X, and rightly so, because he's not, he's nowhere near good as the X. But I like Blade Master. I love his artwork. I think he's really cool. I hope he gets more support, Dan. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, next question comes from Julio Jardines. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And if I pronounce your name wrong, wrong guys, I apologize. Um, Julio's <laughs> Julio asked, some men like butts, some men like legs. What do you find most attractive in a woman? I'm really attracted to women who have really nice ears. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, uh, legs are okay. Butts are okay. Um, honestly, I would say eyes. I've always been... I've always really liked people with very beautiful eyes. Um, I, I don't know why. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying I don't like legs and butts and other things like other guys do. Hint, hint. But, you, uh, you, you know, I, if I had to be honest, I really like a good, beautiful set of eyes. I, I don't know why. Um, I, remember, I, I remember a funny instance when I was like seven or eight. My mom was a manager at Walmart at the time. And it was my first Black Friday shopping thing that she took me to because she was working it. And I had a real sweet gig. She told me, just go throughout the store and get whatever you want. And then afterwards, we'll go home and I'll just buy all of it. And I was like, okay, great. Um, and there was this girl um, there that worked with my mother who was a model, believe it or not. Um, or she was trying to get into modeling. I don't remember, but she was very, very beautiful. And I was only like eight years old and she had like the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen on a human being. They literally looked like she had two freaking sapphires literally in her eyes. They were just so beautiful. So I've always liked a woman that has really beautiful eyes. Now legs, butt, boobs, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy those too, but I, I, I prefer not to think of, I prefer to not think so superficial, <laughs> you know, but you know what? Hey, it, it, it's fun. So, Julio, I, I appreciate the fun question. I, I that, that, that actually made me laugh when I read that. Um, next question comes from Bob Smith. What was your favorite season of Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh? Mine was season one of Vanguard and GX, and the original Yu-Gi-Oh are tied, in my opinion. Now, <clears throat> for... I guess I'll do Yu-Gi-Oh first. Yu-Gi-Oh... I really like the original... Um, the Seal of Ori Kalkos trilogy was really good, but in all honesty, I, as much as people made fun of it, um, I loved 5Ds. Um, I thought 5Ds was extremely good, and, uh, and the abridged for that was hilarious. You say! You know, but um, I, I enjoyed GX too, but it got real annoying when I would go to Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments and I would sit down and they're like, what's your name? And I said, Jade, and they'd be like, oh, do you play Elemental Heroes? And it's like... Um... Me, I played Destiny Heroes and then mixed them with Dark Arm Dragon. That be, soon became known as Teledad. Um, but, well, the deck did play Stratos, but that's it. Um, 
So for Yu-Gi-Oh, I would say five Ds in the original, um, even though GX was okay. Um, it did get a little boring at the end, um, but it it was it was good. So you know what? I'll even I'll give GX you know a nod too. But I really really liked five Ds um, in the original. Um, but I'll say five Ds and the original are tied for first, and GX is second. Is that okay? I hope so. <laughs> um, and for Vanguard, I really like season one. Um, I think season season one. I think season one of Vanguard blew season one of Yu-Gi-Oh out of the water. Um, Season one of Vanguard was just so well done. Um, the voice acting in just the whole first season, I think, was it was so awesome. They really got you into the story. Um, just everything you heard Misaki's backstory with her parents. You heard what you kind of learned why Kai was so distant, um, why Aichi was so you know in you know such a mess when it came to confidence. I mean, it was it was so cool. Um, I really like season three as well. Um, season three, the le the the uh, Link Joker, that was really good because um, it kind of uh, expanded on Kai a little bit. So I really like that. But season season one and three um, of Vanguard are definitely my favorites. Um, next question comes from Siren Frost. Awesome Q and A video as always, Mister Storm. I love it when you call me Mr. Store. It makes me feel like a businessman. Um, so here's my question, just because I've been meaning to ask you this in a previous Q&A. And, whoops, it cut off. Stupid phone? Because I, uh, this is, I, I'm just going to start over. Awesome Q&A video as always, Mr. Storm. Here's my question, just because I've been meaning to ask you this in why. In my previous Q&A, what are your thoughts on the stride and resist mechanic for Vanguard? And good luck at the team leagues. I wish you and your teammates the best and give it all you got. Don't hold anything back. Show everyone the true power of the Kagero clan. Well, first off, thank you very much for your support, Siren. That really means a lot. We'll be sure to uh, do our best. And um, the stride mechanic, honestly, I, I don't know why so many people flipped out about Stride. I, it doesn't change the game that much. I mean, yeah, you drive check three cards, but you have to discard. So technically, you're still plussing the same that you're going to with Legion or just regular Twin Drive. Um, unless, you know, you hit a draw trigger. But also, um, Stride also makes the older stuff viable again, and I'm all for that. Um... So I don't really think Stride changed the game that much. I, when people start bitching, Stride ruined the game, which I don't really understand why some people believe that. To me, Legion did more to the game state than Stride did. Um, so I don't understand why people are freaking out about Stride, but I, I don't have a problem with Stride. Um, I think it's fine. Um, when I very first heard it, I was kind of iffy, but then I started thinking about it. Well, it brings old stuff back into the game, and I'm all for that. So, and as far as the resist mechanic, well, pretty much the resist mechanic, if you haven't heard, it it pretty much like, you know, the grade one stamp sea otter for great nature that can't be retired by other units. It pretty much, there's units that are going to have the same effects for every clan, and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, it, 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 it's the game evolving, so I really don't have a problem with it. And I think it's kind of cool to have cards that can't be, you know, can't be retired like that. So it, 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 it works. Um, so... Um, the next question comes from Drago. Um, hey, Jaden, I've always been curious. What are your rings you have on? Mind explaining or just showing how they look? Thanks. Um, sure, I guess. Uh, on my left hand, this is a gold ring with a... Uh, God, what is that stone called? I cannot remember what that black stone is called, and I just dropped it. Um, this was my mom's dad's um, ring. It's... Uh, 18 karat gold, and I cannot remember what that stone is called for the life of me. Um, but anyway, um, it's just really special to me. He left it to me. Um, I was nine when he died. Um, so obviously when I was nine years old, that couldn't fit on my finger. But um, he left it to me um, and told me that, uh, that he um, instructed uh, my grandmother, so my mom's mom, to give it to me on my 18th birthday, and that's when I got it. Um, along with a letter from him that, I, wow, um, just thinking about takes just thinking about it really, um, really gets to me. Uh, my grandfather died of uh, uh, cancer, um, and he had also developed Alzheimer's, so he didn't really uh, he had trouble remembering, you know, things like that at that time. But he 
um, got someone to help him write a letter, and I'm assuming it was my mother because it looked like her handwriting. But um, I, in the end, I don't care. It was uh, it was great words, and um, it means a lot to me that I have this ring of his. So that um, I wear this one on my left hand. As for my right hand, um, this is a lion head ring with uh, two rubies for eyes, um, and then you know diamonds right there. Just uh, really special to me. Um, this uh, ring came up. It came from a very close friend. Um, my friend KJ, he gave it to me for my birthday last year? Or was it the year before? It was the year before. And um, his... Well, it didn't specifically come from him. It came from him, his sister, and his mother. Um, because they know I I, I... I have way too much jewelry, guys. I have probably like 20, 25 rings. I have necklaces. I have bracelets. I, I wear a lot of jewelry. Um, but... Um, this was, they gave it to me for my birthday. Um, also, it has significance because obviously I'm a Leo. Uh, my birthday is August 10th, and uh, so they got this for me, um, and it really means a lot to me. Uh, KJ and his mother um, was the brother and mother of my best friend who was killed when I was in high school. Um, so I'm really close to the family. Um, I, I, call, <laughs> I, I call KJ's mother to this day Mammy. Um, she's like my second mother, and if I can describe her, she is like your, she is like the southernest old school black woman you can think of. I don't like sweet potato pie, but if it's her sweet potato pie, I'll eat it, and it is the bomb. She is one of the best cooks. Um, I've gone to just, I, I've gone to her sometimes and, or called her and just said, look, can we just talk? Um, we have dinner every year on my best friend's birthday. I go see him at Christmas and I'm always welcome at their house at Thanksgiving and Easter and all the other holidays. Um, I'm just really close to the family and the fact that the three of them bought me this ring, it just means a lot to me. So, and then the last ring I wear also, the reason I wear them next to each other is because this ring, it's worth probably... 10 cents. It, uh, you can't even read the word. You might be able to. I'm going to try and focus it. It says honor. This ring, it's not worth anything. It's cheap. Um, my friend bought it from a, uh, probably just like a little store. So he probably paid what, 10 bucks for it. Um, but this was my best friend's ring. He was wearing it the night he was killed. Um, so his mother gave it to me, uh, thinking I'd want to keep it. Um, so I wear it just to remember to always remember my best friend, um, <clears throat> you know, live every day for both of us. So, and he always, and the word honor to him always meant so much. He always used to say, no matter what, uh, a man has, if you take away everything from him, he all, he always has his honor. And since I'm on the topic of jewelry, I guess I'll show you guys this too. Um, this gold chain that I wear around my neck, um, I take this off maybe twice a year, guys. So this is, I, I sleep with this, I shower with this, I swim with this. Um, the only time I did, I took this off a lot in high school because I played football because I didn't want to wreck it. This uh, chain is real gold. Um, both of the charms on it are real gold. This is probably close to about $3,000 worth of gold right here. Um, and um, this line right here, uh, my mom got me. It's a lion for Leo. And then this cross here, if you guys remember the video I made about my grandmother who passed away, um, she gave that to me when I, she got that for me when I was christened into the church. Um, you might be saying, well, Jaden, I know you're an atheist, so why do you wear a cross? The cross, the symbol, and its religious meaning behind it means absolutely nothing to me. And I don't mean that offensively. If you are religious, it means a lot to me because my grandmother gave it to me. So, But, um, and then the cloud bracelet I you see me always wearing is just because I'm a Final Fantasy freak. But, um, but yeah, the, um, I, and I wear, I, I, that's just me. I wear lots of jewelry, so, um. Uh, yeah, Drago, I don't mind in the least, because some people ask me all the time, well, what's this, what's this, and what's that? I'll, I'm always happy to answer those kind of questions, so thank you for your question, Drago. And next question we got is coming from Kaiser Gray RS. What really draws you to Kagiro? Is it the play style, the art, Kai, what is it? Just curious. Well, <clears throat> It is the play style. I really and have always loved dragons. I remember being four and five years old, and my favorite show to watch was Dragon Tales. I just love dragons. Um, 
ever since. Um, and then Pokemon came into my life, and I always loved the dragon Pokemon. Gyarados, um, Dragonite, um, <laughs> you know... Um, Sorry, Charizard, you weren't considered a drag. I don't even think he's... You're not really a dragon in my book. You're a fire flying. Deal with it. Um, but, you know, I, I always loved the dragon Pokemon. Salamence, Haxorus. I always loved dragons, and I still do. So when I when I came into Vanguard, I literally remember seeing the Dragonic Overlord on the first few episodes of the DVD that I've told you guys so many times about that our locals guy gave to me. And the second I saw Dragonic Overlord on the screen, I went, I'm going to play that card. I'm going to have that card. I want to play that card. Um, it it was... <coughs> my favorite color is red. Well, when I started Yu-Gi-Oh!, my first deck was a Blue Eyes Trial deck, or Structure deck. Dragonic Overlord is red, my favorite color, and he's a badass dragon, like Blue Eyes White Dragon is, and I still love Blue Eyes, but Dragonic Overlord is red. And he has a fucking sword to back it up. That makes him even cooler. Um, I like Kai, too, behind Kagero. I connect with Kai a lot because I can understand why he's so closed off. And, you know, when you hear parts of his backstory, I can connect with some parts of that. So I can understand that. So maybe that's kind of a just a little bit of connection. I feel so close to Kagero because I feel so close to Kai. He kind of reminds me of myself from the anime because we try to draw comparisons to ourselves and see things in other people, you know, especially on things that we see as far as on the television or shows or movies. Maybe that's it, but in all honesty, Kagero just fits my playstyle most because in Yu-Gi-Oh! I was always playing control decks, and that's what Kagero is. Um, so, <clears throat> Kagero is always my favorite deck, period. I mean, I enjoy Link Joker, I enjoy Royal Paladin, I enjoy Great Nature, I enjoy Shadow Paladins and Gold Paladins and... Genesis and OTT and you know, but Kagero is the number one clan in my book to me. <clears throat> so, next question comes from the awesome card guy one. Okay, <laughs> okay. His question is, "Hey, Jaden, and here is my question for uh, here is my question for you: Is are you going to run interdimensional dragon epic maker dragon in your Gear Chronicle deck in Fighters Collection 2015? If you are, explain." Um. I believe that is the one that when he attacks, you bind a card out of your hand. If his attack hits, you superior call a grade three out of your deck. And then after that unit attacks, you put it on the bottom of your deck and superior call the unit that you bind it, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, to be honest, if I'm correct about that unit, which I'm pretty sure I am, um, but I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> I mean, um, it seems okay you know, for the early stages of the game to get an extra attack in, but um, I don't know yet. I can't give you a for sure yes or no answer, um, but it, it it could have its spot, I'm not going to lie. You know, I don't think it's as good as Fate Rider or Kronos Command or even Ragnaclock, but I think he, every card has its place. So I'm sure I'll find, you know, I, I'm sure I could find some way to make him uh, a useful card. Um, next question comes from um, Umbral Horror 82. Um, yo, Jaden, I was wondering, what do you prefer to use? Legion or Stride, or do you like using both? I like using both. Um, I like Legion to recycle triggers and key cards. Um, I like Stride. It adds more cards to your hand, has devastating units. Um, so I like mixing them, and if you need proof of that, look at Dragonic Overlord the X. It uses both of them. So I love Stride and Legion. I love them both. Um, so, you know, I can see running... Um, just a stride deck. I can see running just a straight legion deck, but if you run legion, you can play strides in it. So I love them both. I, I love them both equally. Um, next question comes from Marco Espinoza. What do you think of Shadow Paladins once the Legend deck and GBTO3 comes out? If they will be a tier deck once again, how will the Revengers or other archetypes venture out into this new meta? Um, <clears throat> that trial deck, the more and more cards they announce for it just continues to get stupider. Um, I will say with Phantom Blaster Diablo, he better be a Counter Blast 3. <laughs> he better be a Counter Blast 3. Um, I think the Phantom Blaster Diablo deck will probably be Tier 1. Um, but then again, um, it might not be, considering it's going to be about $30 and you get four of every card, so the deck's going to be around a lot. Um, so, you can you could it it has every case to be tier one but normally when a deck is that 
I guess, present in the format everywhere you go, it tend it tends to get a little overhyped. Now, I'm not saying any of the cards are not good. Um, you know, the new Claudus and Doric combo is broken as shit. Uh, Bla we still don't know what Blast Dark Diablo does. Venom Blaster Diablo is broke as shit. Um, you know, so I'm. it's going to depend on how many people... It, it, it's because right now the hype is strong for this deck. Um, so it's going to depend on how many people flock to it. I think that Bushroot will have no problem selling these things, but um, in the end, I'm going to be building the deck just because I, I'm, I miss playing Shadow Paladins, and um, it's going to be so popular of a deck, I would like to do it so I can share my thoughts on the deck with you guys. But And I already have my deck list for the deck planned out. I'm just kind of waiting to see what the rest of the information that we're going to get. I'm hoping Fenner Blaster Diablo is a Counter Blast 3. With the unflipping combo with Dork and Claudus, and you have Karen, that when you sack it, it counts as two sacrifices. I'm sorry. Uh, it Counter Blast 3 is fair. And with GBTO3, Shadow Paladin's going to get a G perfect, so <laughs> I think it's fair to say just make it a Counter Blast 3. Um, so. <laughs> Next question comes from Mikey Liang. I hope. Liang, I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I apologize. Jaden, can you please do a Neo Nectar Stride deck profile when GBTO2 comes out in May 22nd? Are you going to build the Great Nature Stride deck profile in your channel? Um, for the Neo Nectar Stride deck, bud, unfortunately, I can't do that because I don't mess with Neo Nectar anymore. I built the deck on two occasions, and the deck just did not agree with me. Now, there will be a Neo Nectar deck profile on this channel when... I see my friend Ryan next. I'm going to film his Neo Nectar deck profile, which we're, we'll be going to the Team League in May at Pasadena. So that will be literally the day we leave is the day the set drops. So um, so I will be doing a deck profile with him, and you will be able to see it then. So you, um, unfortunately, that one's going to be a little ways away. And as for the Great Nature deck profile, yes, I'm going to be building that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you're going to probably see two different builds of that on my channel, one for me and one for my teammate Sam. So, yes, you can expect to see both of those deck profiles on my channel. Um, just obviously not for a while. <laughs> um, next question comes from Jake McCarthy. What are your opinions on Force of Will TCG? I, the artwork is amazing. The backs of the cards are amazing. Um, the boxes are $100. I'm, that... If they were 80, I would have probably already joined the game by now. I, I have a general understanding of how to play. Um, just, I don't know if I want to commit to spending more money on another card game right now. Um, Vanguard, I spend, I, 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 ha I have more fun just playing Vanguard. From, from the outside looking in, Force of Will looks fun. I'm going to keep my eye on it if it if it keeps doing as good as, you know, it seems to be doing at least at my locals and people are going batshit crazy for it, I might jump in and just see, because it's pretty much Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Vanguard, and Magic all thrown into one. Um, or at least, you know, that's how I see it. You know, you, there's life points, there's mana. I mean, <laughs> so I have a general understanding how to play the game, but um, it looks fun, you know, but I, I haven't bought any starter decks or trial decks or booster boxes yet or i don't know if i will or not um but <clears throat> i guess we'll just have to wait and see um but i have i have seen seen it and it does it looks very interesting i will give it that jake um next one comes from shiny hunter kikado do you have a twitter account i have a twitter account that i use for my personal but i'm going to be setting up one for me to communicate with just for you guys um with the um channel and everything i will be setting that up um pretty quickly um so yeah i'm some people ask me do you have a facebook i do not have a facebook i had a facebook i got rid of it um i let's just say my dad was stalking me and it was the best way to get rid of it <laughs> so um i just do not like facebook i just don't um and plus i'm a computer guy and we've done so many different um assignments in school to show how you can basically track someone down using their Facebook account. It's quite scary. Um, anyway, next question comes from Charles Pagram. Will Nubatama be a tier deck in the foreseeable future? Um, I wouldn't hold my breath, you know, because Nubatama, I think, is more considered... It's more considered, um, I think, to be a fun deck. 
At least that's the way they've approached it right now. Um, I would like to see Nubatama become meta. Um, Murakumo with Shiryuki is starting to look pretty damn anti-meta, but Nubatama, who knows? Um, I'm sure it will get um, more support in the future. Um, but Tier 1, anytime soon, probably not, because we do know all the clans that come out in Set 3, um, and Nubatama hasn't gotten any more support since their... Um, uh, I think the last support Nubatama got was in a promo pack that got their second critical trigger, but I don't I don't know. I'll, I'll be interested to see. I enjoy Nubatama um, a lot, um, especially with the hand discarding effects, but... I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'd like. I hope they get more support in the future. I I believe they have a G unit that's been announced. I hope so, or at least I think I'm right. But um, I'd like to see Nubatama become tier one again, or n not tier one again. T I'd like to see him get up there, maybe solid tier two, but tier one I think is a little bit stretching it because things like Kagero, Royal Paladin, Link Joker, Narukami, and Gold Paladin, and Great Nature, you know, soon. I mean, those clans and Aqua Force, they're just so strong. So Nubatama to jump into that into that elite circle, they're going to have to get some really good stuff. I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's... Um, Bush Road's going to have to show them more love than they've shown them t uh, um, up to now. Um, and the final question also comes from Charles Pogram. What is the best Zoo Nation deck? Um, great nature. Um, <clears throat> and the reason that is, is because of the support that comes in set two. Guys, I'm sorry. That stuff in set two makes great nature so damn stupid. And I already have my deck profile for it worked out. So when it gets announced, you'll see mine. But it, good lord, guys. I do not, I, when I read some of the cards that they're getting, I shook my head like, okay, I, I gotta be reading this wrong. Let me read this again. You <laughs> Oh my god, I read it right. Um, so Great Nature by far. Um, Neo Nectar, it's starting to get a lot more support um, with Set 2, and it becomes a lot more... Uh, Neo Nectar's finally getting what it should have got from the start. It got the Trial Deck, which helped it out immensely. Um, and it's getting more support in Set 2. Um, so it's it's getting a lot of help, but I think Great Nature is better than Neo Nectar. And, and I know Great Nature is better as a whole, than, me than Mega Colony. Mega Colony, it... My friend Sam, I think he would agree with me in saying Mega Colony kind of gets... They get enough support to build a deck, but they don't really get what they need. You know, they kind of just get enough to be a nuisance, because that's what Mega Colony really is. It's a nuisance deck. Paralyze, 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 and you're sitting there going... You know, so that's what Mega Colony is. It's a nuisance deck. Um, but between the between all the zoo decks, I would pick um, I would pick Great Nature, and it's not even close. It's like by a mile. Um, Neo Nectar's right behind, and then Mega Colony's way back here. Um, so anyway, guys, there's um, this Q and A. So thank you very much for participating in it. If you left a question, please leave another question. I would love to keep doing this. I had so much fun answering your questions. Remember, you can ask me anything. I don't care what you ask me. I don't care how many you ask me. Just leave me a question, and I will answer them the next time I choose to do a Q uh, next time I choose to answer them. I'm gonna. I'm usually gonna wait until there's at least. 15 questions before I do it so I can get a lot of them in. But if there happens to be 20 or a little bit more than that, I'll answer all of them. So thank you very much, guys, for um, helping me do this. Um, I, I did this because I thought it would help me uh, maybe get get some more ideas of what you guys want to see for videos, um, whether it be another deck profile, whether it be uh, more discussion videos, random rants, or just r random videos where I talk about random shit. Um, and also, it, it gives you guys a little more information on me in case, you know, um, it, it, like, you, you guys ask me questions from Vanguard to what I like in a woman um, to about my jewelry. I don't I don't care. I do. I do not care. Whatever question you want to ask, I will answer it. I'm an open book. Uh, you know, my my theory has always been: if you don't want to know the answer, don't ask. So if you want to know, ask. So, thank you very much for all your support, guys. You guys are awesome. We're at 450 subscribers. Let's see if we can um, hit 500. Let's see. It's it's April 10th. Um, my goal would be to hit 500 before May. So let's you, let's let's hit 500 before May and even get a jump on the next 
you know, after that. So let's, let's hit 500 soon, guys. Um, thank you very much again for all your support, guys. Um, it's awesome. Um, remember, guys, if you have a PlayStation 4, um, I recently have been talking to um, one guy that um, sought me out on PlayStation, and we've had conversations the last couple of nights, and it, it was it's really cool to connect with you guys. So if you have a PlayStation 4 and you want to add me, Shadow Overlord 52, send me a chat request. We'll shoot the breeze. We'll talk about Vanguard. We'll talk about the weather will talk about whatever. So if you do have a PlayStation 4, add me, Shadow Overlord 52 if you ever want to hit me up for a chat. So anyway, guys, thank you very much again. Leave a question in the comment section below for the next Q&A. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.